in these careers that people choose something to put under them. It's hard to do. <laughs> hi. Hello. Hi. So, we need to introduce ourselves. Yes. Okay. My name's Becky Edmonds. I'm Lucy Cash. And we are the curators of an event called What Matters, which is happening... Where we are now. Where we are now, <laughs> in Siobhan Davis Studios in London. And it's happening from Wednesday the 11th to Sunday the 15th. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why we are witnessing <laughs> a lot of running okay. around. This is okay. the tidy room. The vortex. Yes, the vortex. <laughs> Backstage. <laughs> the process, as we call it. Indeed. So then, what is uh, what matters? First of all. Do you want to go or should I go? You go, you read it. Oh, no. Okay. No, no, I, I could be in the middle of a thought. What Matters is the follow-up, actually, of another festival we curated with two other artists in 2010. Um, that was a curation with Kirsten White and Claudia Kappenberg, two screen dance artists. And um, What If was another five-day festival that kind of took work from a lot of different disciplines and applied a choreographic lens to it. Mm -hmm. And what matters is the follow-up to that festival. This time it's just us two. Mm. Mm -hmm. And so what we were interested in last time and we're still interested in this time is, is, is looking at things in, in two different directions. As Becky said, applying a choreographic lens to work which wouldn't normally be considered to contain choreography. Uh -huh. And then on the other hand, um, Placing choreographic works such as dance works or works that cross the border into live art next to other film works and really kind of really kind of imaginatively um, figuring out time and space and duration so that the experience for the audience when they come into the festival mm -hmm. is one where they might experience um, encountering the work in what we might think of as a kind of choreographic way. So. Um, really thinking about scale of works, really mm. thinking about repetition in terms of you might see um, a work, um, for instance, we have a work called Don't Cry that is installed work and um, will be up and running throughout the festival. And then on Sunday, we have Miranda Pennell, who's um, a filmmaker um, who's really interested in ritual mm -hmm. and rites. And she is, has programmed a series of works where she's going to rescreen Don't Cry within a different context. So recontextualizing. Yeah. Yes, and in this uh, contextualization, how can you, uh, you know, you have said something about okay, this choreographic lens, uh, how that uh, is now perhaps amplified with this notion of what matters. Uh, yeah. That I think uh, it has a lot of, uh, it's kind of an open question for very relevant things that yeah. perhaps we were not aware or we didn't feel it in such intensity last year, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Well, I think what matters... What, well, when we did What If, What, what if, if was a very yeah. open question. Yeah. And, it's almost um, a condition, yeah. It is, it's yeah. very open. It's, you know, Deborah Hay uses the yeah. question What If, and she always says it's so light, it's just a really light thing. Mm. Well, well, what if we It's an this? imagination act. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what matters is, is a different thought to that. What matters came about because... Well, we, we wanted to call it something completely different, actually, yeah. because it mm -hmm. is in a series of festivals. We have the What Now Festival, which we don't curate, but is mm -hmm. also in this building. What if? We have What Now again last year. Um, we wanted to sort of come away from the what thing and maybe be a bit more kind of, oh, I don't know, try something else. But um, the festival is co-produced by an organisation called Independent Dance, and the director of, or one of the directors of Independent Dance, who had initiated this, these Watt festivals, mm -hmm. she, you could tell, she never, she never said no, Jill, really, but she, you could tell she wasn't keen that we were coming away from the Watt yeah. thing. And after well, a while, Jill Clark. it was yeah. Jill Clark, yes. And after a while, it kind of became really clear to us that she just wasn't buying it at all. She, for her. <laughs> The what was a really important aspect mm -hmm. of these festivals. Yeah. And very, very sadly, Jill died last year. Um, and, and the what mattered. Yeah. The what mattered to Jill. And then once we kind of landed mm. on that as a title, it became really clear that what, what we look for when we're looking for works to go into mm -hmm. these events are things where we can really clearly see that something mattered mm -hmm. to that artist 
And it could be that it's um, a story that they're telling that matters to them, or it could be that composition matters to them, or colour, or myth, or truth, mm -hmm. anything, as long as yeah. we can see that something matters. Yeah. yeah. And so in that way, then it, it set this other really interesting context. And then alongside that, and this is partly to do with you, Gregory Bateson. <laughs> ah, Mr. Bateson. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Bateson. <laughs> Strikes back. <laughs> mm. yeah. And um, for me right now, right just before the festival opens, when I'm thinking about what we're going to say to introduce Patrick Keeler's film tomorrow night, mm. Gregory Bateson feels really important. And I'm going to shut up in a minute and let Becky talk about the diaries mm. and what's happening there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Should I talk about that now? Yeah. So Gregory Bateson, we were very, I mean, we don't know much about Gregory Bateson. We'll be, I'm reading a book yeah, called yeah. Understanding Re Gregory Bateson, which is <laughs> yes, helping. Yes, about, yeah, that's a really good thing to start. <laughs> it's really helpful. Yeah. But, but there is something about his um, curiosity about connection yeah. that really kind of appealed to us. Yeah. And since it's a, this always happens, I find this when if you're making a piece of work or if you're focusing on something, you begin to find more yeah. and more connections yeah. between different things. Mm. So a piece of work that is going into this event is actually um, we're going to be exhibiting a collection of diaries yeah. that we found, that I found with another artist. found them about 12 years ago and they've been thrown away. They were yeah. put out for the bin men. Yeah. And the bin men were coming down the road and we just picked them up in time and sort of <laughs> scuttled off with them and found that these books were the diaries of a man called John Richard Percival. Mm -hmm. And John Richard Percival is descended from Spencer Percival, who was Prime Minister of this country a yeah. um, long, long time ago. Now Spencer Percival's son, who is also called John, John Thomas Percival, he was, for some years, in um, lunatic asylums. He spent about three years in lunatic asylums. And afterwards, he came out and he wrote about his experiences in two books, which Gregory Bateson republished huh. in 1962. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. and, I literally, and how I found that out is because Gregory Bateson went to the same school as the guy whose diaries wow. we've got huh. and was probably there at about the same time, maybe a little earlier. Wow. But and I didn't know about that connection. Wow. Yeah, he was Charterhouse. Uh, yeah. And I read that and I thought, oh, I'll just put in yeah. Google yeah. Bateson and Percival and up came this thing that he'd been working with Percival's ancestors' wow. work. Huh. So it's the, it's the kind of thrill of finding connections as well. We have these yeah. diaries, but we also have a film diary from a man called Tim Hetherington that yeah. we're showing. Um, Tim Hetherington was killed last year. He was a photojournalist, war journalist, and he was killed last year in Libya. Huh. But he made the most beautiful piece mm. of work that is a kind of choreographic journey through his through experience. his experience yeah. of, yeah. of being, he spent a lot of time in Liberia. Yeah. He takes us on a journey from Liberia yeah. back to London, back to Liberia. And he takes us through this journey completely through movement. Yeah. So it's, it's images you might be used to seeing on the news, but he, there's no commentary, there's no language. Yeah. He just, or there's very little language. It's all movement. Yeah. He makes us travel. So yeah. there are connections there. Yeah. And then... You know, each piece mm. we can we can find can connections find connection. to. Yeah. And in, in your that is really interesting. And well, because we perhaps we will see lineages or this associate associative links yes. between one thing and another. Yeah. And that also, you know, like you wrote something about based on it, you know what what he makes these connections between organisms and mm. some kind of kinship. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And, and for us, his fascination with pattern. And looking for patterns of connection seems so appropriate to choreography and mm. seems really also, I think we, you know, on a personal note, we feel really strongly that um, this festival is unspokenly dedicated to Jill. Yeah. And we have yeah. uncovered lots of things where we feel like um, ideas that might have interested Jill or she may have yeah. known about. And so on a personal level, that's been really pleasurable, actually. Mm. Yeah. Um, I wanted to speak just briefly about the film that we're showing that opens yeah. the festival. Um, Patrick Keeler, who I don't know if you know his work, um, mm -hmm. but he is a British filmmaker. Mm -hmm. and he's made a series of three films, three feature films, 
as well as short films, um, which are the Robins. They're also a series, and yeah. they're about this fictional character called Robinson. Uh-huh. And um, Robinson is a kind of researcher, but uh, has a bit of a sort of um, strange history to him. And he is basically exploring the kind of context of firstly London and then kind of mainly England, but the UK as a whole. And the last film, which we're going to show tomorrow night, which came out in um, winter 2010, is called Robinson in Ruins. Um, Patrick Keeler was making the film really, he was making it in 2008, he was making it in the context of the financial crash. And the film is an incredibly fine um, kind of patchwork of ideas which really take us through um, history of England, it takes us through the Land Enclosure Act, it kind of knits all these pathways into um, various different kind of uh, systems that mm-hmm. have been set up. So, for instance, um, BP Company tracing its history back, British <laughs> Petroleum, for instance, mm-hmm. um, through naval and war units mm-hmm. within the UK. Um, so it's looking at the idea of larger systems, yeah. again, kind which... Kind of this eco-systemic yeah, uh, yeah. idea. And um, and is a kind of fascinating combination of fact and fictionalization of this mm. character, yeah. um, and has incredible sequences in it. Like oh, there's a yeah. there's a, a spider weaving a web, which yeah. actually he lets us look at for it's in such close up, and yeah. you can see you can see the movement of the spider tucking. Huh. You can really mm. see the the rhythm of the spider moving and tucking under yeah. and tucking under. It's just a beautiful, beautiful sequence. Yes. Yeah, so, so then you have put together this kind of uh, choreographic uh, journey or so yes. a choreography of, of yeah. relationships in which so and it, there will be then uh, installations, yes. projections. Yes, and, uh, screenings, uh, screenings and some performances. live performance. Yeah. We yeah. have we have quite a few live performances. We have we have a really nice pairing, which is um, uh, Ellen Bromberg's film uh-huh. uh, Deborah Hay, not as Deborah Hay, which will be followed by a performance by Simon Ellis, right. um, who Great. will be performing. Um, I think not uh, the Deborah Hay solo, which people go and work for a while, and yeah. they it's, kind it's of their the solo adaptation. The solo it is it's the solo commissioning project. So that yeah. that will be a film a film event followed by a live event. Um, and also there is a documentary uh, on Gregory Bateson. Uh, there yeah, is. Like, yeah. Yeah. There is also Nora Bateson's film, which is a portrait of, of her father, which is a really nice way yeah. into Gregory Bateson's yes. kind of thinking, because it's so personal. and yeah. it's, it's a storytelling. It is. <laughs> in a way. It is. Yeah, it's a lovely That's story. That's kind of a big reminder also about Bateson that practically put us in all this... Uh, practically everything is storytelling. Yes. Yes. Even if you're doing it with a computer or yeah. with a film. Yeah. Yeah. About memory. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We have a very gorgeous performance called Grafting and Budding by a lovely artist called Sheila Galani. And she's a great storyteller. Mm. Yeah. She's a great storyteller. It's a live performance that is kind of, it's like a cross between a lecture, a cookery demonstration, <laughs> and a scientific mm. experiment. It happens in live space, but it happens on screen as well. Yeah. It's beautifully choreographed, and I'd recommend anyone to come along mm. and see that. It's really, really yeah lovely work. Um, We also have a room which will be mutating over the period of the festival which is called the Medea Room Mm -hmm. and that is created by Julia Bardsley Mm -hmm. and she will be a live presence for the Friday. Mm -hmm. She will be a video presence in there for the Saturday and on the Sunday she will be present in still images. So that's a shifting, that's mutating a, space. And uh, people can find information about the festival yes. in the web? In, uh, yes, www.straybird.org forward slash what matters. Yeah. Or if yeah. you just Google what matters, what it matters seems fe- to come What matters up. festival? Mm. Say, yeah, I think yeah. it's coming. It's in, coming in, up. Like top search. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Uh, well, it's uh, you know this is uh, I think a great introduction, and thank you for having <laughs> me and us here, all the Dance Tech Network, and uh, we will be from here right. <laughs> doing and uh and